Hello students. Hope you all are well and studied what I have taught you. We will continue again chapter 6. Lesson 6, Desert Regions. So all of you take your book. Take the book in your hand. The book is in your hand. Take the chapter 6, The Desert Regions. Okay? On page number 28. So we have already studied some of the features of desert regions. So quickly we will revise. We have learned that desert region is any hot or cold land area which gets less than 25 centimeter of rainfall. Okay. Then what we learned? We had learned how it is formed. It is formed by human activities and some deserts are naturally present. Human activities were forest cutting. Okay. And what was the another one? Deforestation was there one. And another one was what is happening the formation of soil? We learned this overgrazing of animals. Then we learned types of desert and we learned hot desert. Hot deserts are from 15 degree to 30 degree north in the northern hemisphere. Uh, that is towards from the equator and from the equator 15 degree to 30 degree south near the Tropic of Capricorn. Okay. And the deserts were Sahara Desert, Kalahari Desert, Arabian Desert, so many. Climate we saw, climate is extreme type. Either it is too hot or too cold. During the day it is very, very hot and during the night it is very, very cold. Okay, temperature during the day is 40 to 50 degree Celsius. This much we have learned in the previous class. Do you remember? Okay, now we will learn today something about natural vegetation. What is natural vegetation means? Forest, plant life. So what are the plant life in the desert regions? So very few plants grow in hot deserts. We know that the rainfall is very less here. So very few plants grow in hot deserts. These plants have evolved ways to withstand the extreme climate. So plants have or plants have automatically developed a skill of uh, bearing this too much of cold, cold weather or too much of hot weather to withstand the extreme of temperature. So plants have developed the skill of or the plants are such kind that they can withstand to hot climate also, to cold climate also. Or and so they can survive in the scarcity of water. In the line it is given na? scarcity. Underline that with the pencil. Scarcity means lack of water. Lack. L-A-C-K. Lack. Lack means kami. Pani ki kami. All that conditions the plants in the hot deserts can survive. The some flowering plants are, uh, here it is given, ephemeral. Ephemeral means which die very soon. They are not long lasting flowering plants. Okay. So, ephemeral means the plants which are seasonal or they dry very or die very fast. So, they live for a few days. So, those flowering plants are there. They are ephemeral. They live for few days only and then they fade away. Woody desert plants either have long root system that reach up water sources. So in desert plants either have two deep roots so that they can take up the water and sometimes the plants have two shallow roots so that whatever moisture is falling on the ground that moisture they can take up. So two types of roots, either too deep, okay? Long root system that reach deep water sources. So plants have two types of roots. Either a plant will have the roots very deep so that they can take the water from the deep within or the plants will have shallow roots so that they can pick up the moisture from the ground, up ground, okay? 
so the shallow spread root to take up surface moisture quickly from heavy dews and occasional rain so shallow roots will uh, absorb the moisture which is falling on the ground or quickly they can absorb the rain water all right so two types of roots are there so what types of roots are there roots are long or shallow okay next you what is the feature of this desert plants usually have small leaves they will have very small leaves okay some plants drop their leaves during dry period so some plants we know like in here also when autumn comes the plants here shed their leaves so in the same way in desert region also plants shed their leaves in dry season some plants are succulent storing water in leaves some plants have got they are called succulent because they are storing the water in their leaves stems and roots so they uh, the, some plants will collect the water in the stem in the root and in the leaves so that they can survive in the lack of water also cacti acacia small shrubs are the main plants that grow here so if you will see cactus plant okay or uh, you will see the boab tree or if you will see the uh, what you say is another nicacia these plants uh, stems leaves and roots store up the water into them then the baobab tree also known as bottle tree the picture is given here see it is in the shape of a bottle or a barrel barrel is like a drum into which water is filled so its stem is like a barrel bada sa drum jisme hum pani bharte hain hai na so its bot its uh, stem is like a barrel or a bottle into which water is filled and it is believed that this barrel or this stem of the tree can store thousands of liter water okay so it is found in kalahari desert where is kalahari desert in africa okay the barrel shaped hollow trunk of this tree can store thousands of liter of water so this baobab tree trunk is like a bottle shape or like a barrel barrel is a drum in which you are filling water so this barrel or stem can fill thousands of liter water it can absorb and keep stored into it that was all about your natural vegetation okay i told you what is natural vegetation they have developed the skill of surviving into the harsh climate okay some flowering plants are there which are uh, which is called as what is they called they are called as ephemeral na ephemeral means the plants they live for very short duration so they shed their uh, they fade away during some days only then plants are there the roots are either too long or too deep okay too shallow long or deep means they can take the water from the underground deep down shallow means the roots can absorb the water from the moisture which is falling in the night or from the rain okay then types of trees some trees store up the water into their leaves into their stem and into their roots okay so which are the trees or plants cacti cassia boab they can store up the water into their stem roots and leaves and the leaves of these vegetation is very small this was about your plant life okay i hope you have understood next we have to see what is the next one heading you will see next heading is yours turn the page page number 30 on page number 30 we have to learn about animal life 
Okay. Next we have to learn about animal life. The it's not clear. Let me write once again clearly. The board is not so clear. After rubbing, rubbing it has become so bad. So animal life we have to see. Open that heading. Animal life. Which are the animals found there? So desert are inhabited by insects. Okay. Spiders. Scorpions, reptiles, you know what is reptiles? Huh? Reptiles like snake, snake, lizard, which move on their stomach. Na? Birds, mammals, these are the animals found there. Animal life. Deserts are inhabited by some insect, some reptiles, some mammals, some birds. More of insects, more of reptiles are found. Here, reptiles means the animals which move on their stomach like snake, lizards, all these, okay? So, unlike plant, like plant are able to survive in the hot condition and in the lack of water also, they have developed themselves in such a way, okay? So, they can survive into any condition, okay? So, in the same way, any condition means the hot weather conditions there and lack of water. So is with the animals. Animals also can survive in such a hot weather. Okay. Can seek shelter from the scorching sun. So they have developed such a uh, skill into them or skin is such that even if it is so hot, they can find a shelter. So find when it is too hot during the day, the animals go into deep down the ground to find the shelter. Okay, cold winds by scrawling underground burrows. Underground burrows means zameen means shed kar lete. They make holes into the ground. And when it is too hot during the day, na, they go inside it. Like snake, rats, they all. Okay. Many have developed specific pro body process to adopt harsh climatic conditions. Some have developed harsh body structure so that they can stand the withstand the harsh climatic conditions some small mammals like rodent rodents means the um, mammals or animals which can which have very sharp teeth which animal has very sharp teeth can bite and um, take a cut anything at home in your homes you have small small rats mouse and rabbit they are red ro rodents okay and they excrete only concentrated urine. You know what is concentrated urine? In the lab and all they test that uh, when the urine has less of water and more of solutes. Okay. Then it is called concentrated urine. When your urine which you pass has more of uh, solutes, some other substances like salt, sugar or whatever or less of water. So some small mammals like rodent excrete, they pass the urine, only that urine which has less of water. Okay, they don't remove much of water from there. It is only to say they excrete very less of water from their body in the, uh, in the form of urine. Okay, only concentrated urine they pass. That means less of water they are passing, more of solutes from their bodies. And dry faces. Dry faces means the dry stool. Dry stool means um, you pass your waste na, during uh, when you go in the morning to fresh up in the washroom. You pass the stool. You pass your waste from your body. That when it is hard, okay, like you have constipation type. So it is called your dry faces. So when why dry faces come? Dry faces comes. When uh, um, our large intestine is absorbing the water and the other material, the waste remains very dry. Okay. So, when this rodent are passing the, what we say, the stool, the stool is very hard because water they are keeping in their body only into the large intestine. And the urine also which they are passing is concentrated means water is remaining in their body. Only other substances are excreted from the body. And the perspire also very little. Perspire means coming sweat. Asina bhi bohot 
कम आता है ओके मोस्ट एनिमल्स आर नॉक्ट्रोल सो इन डेजर्ट रीजन मोस्ट ऑफ द एनिमल्स आर नॉक्ट्रोनल मीन्स विच आर अवेक ड्यूरिंग द नाइट एक्टिव लाइक यू हैव आउल एक्टिव एट नाइट एंड ड्यूरिंग द डे इन एक्टिव द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यूजफुल एनिमल फाउंड हियर इज कैमल we know it is called as ship of the desert why some of the features are like camel has uh, the legs of the camel are very spongy it can walk into the desert eyelids are very big big okay that you know eyelashes are there na this they are very big big eyelids are very big uh, so whenever the wind is blowing with the sand it will not go into its eyes it can store up its water into hump you have na hump of the uh, this is hump which is called in an uh, camel hump can store lot of water into it so these are the things why which is called because of which the camel is called the ship of the desert it, it can easily walk into the sand and other animals are ostrich the largest bird you can find which is also found in kalahari desert some other animals are like you have uh, echin echinna that is a, a spiny ant eater which is given in the picture also spiny spiny means you have prickles on it kaante daar hota hai ant eater is like a uh, ant eater is like heron na which you called as deer and edax is also a white uh, what you say is antelope sand cats are also found in sahara deserts so this was about your animal life animal life what we have learned animal life we have learned in as is that animal are also able to withstand the harsh climatic conditions we find here rodent i told you rodents are the animals which have sharp biting teeth they excrete only concentrated urine and the hard stool and leave the water in their body only and they perspire also very less like you have mouse and you have rats and you have the rabbits then you have there also some birds we have some mammals also there and uh, we also have some what do you say the uh, reptiles you have there okay we saw this and these animals have adopted the features that they can survive into the harsh climatic conditions we saw that the camel is the main animal here ship of the desert it is called okay then we have there other animals like you have there edax it is an ant eater so these are the animals found here and they survive with the highest climatic condition in the des hot desert region areas okay so this was about today that we have learned about the animal life the plant life okay so till now we have learned about desert what type of climate is there what type of um, what we say is the plant life is there what type of animals live there okay tomorrow we'll see what type of people or life exist in desert region i hope you have understood the children the chapter about i will continue with the explanation tomorrow read the chapter again properly and if you have any confusion you can call me on saturday and ask me i can explain you in the next coming class thank you have a nice day